The Ballon d'Or, French for Golden Ball, is more than just a trophy. It represents the pinnacle of individual achievement in the beautiful game. The award's genesis can be traced back to 1956. Gabriel Hanot, a prominent French journalist for France Football Magazine, envisioned an award to recognize the best football talent in Europe. Hanot's vision was simple yet profound, to identify and celebrate the most exceptional player amongst Europe's finest. The inaugural Ballon d'Or was awarded that very year, marking the beginning of a prestigious tradition. The first recipient was Stanley Matthews, the legendary English winger known for his dribbling skills and sportsmanship. Matthews' selection as the first Ballon d'Or winner solidified the award's significance, instantly placing it at the forefront of individual honors in football. The Ballon d'Or quickly gained recognition and prestige, becoming a coveted symbol of individual brilliance. Players across Europe aspired to etch their names in football history by winning the coveted trophy. Little did Hanat know that his brainchild would transcend continental borders and evolve into a global phenomenon, captivating the hearts of football enthusiasts worldwide. In its nascent years, the Ballon d'Or was exclusively awarded to European players, plying their trade within European clubs. This exclusivity was a reflection of the times, where European football was seen as the pinnacle of the sport, and the continent's leagues were considered the most competitive and prestigious. This reflected the dominant position European football held on the global stage. European clubs were the powerhouses, attracting the best talents from around the world, and their domestic leagues were the battlegrounds where football legends were made. The selection process was meticulously crafted to ensure that only the most deserving players were recognized. It was a system designed to celebrate excellence and to highlight the extraordinary talents that graced the football fields of Europe. A panel of esteemed football journalists from various European nations were entrusted with the responsibility of casting their votes. These journalists were chosen for their deep understanding of the game and their ability to objectively assess player performances. Each journalist nominated their top five players based on criteria that emphasized individual performance, technical skill, and overall contribution to their team's success. This comprehensive evaluation ensured that the award recognized not just the most talented players, but also those who made significant impacts on their teams and the sport as a whole. The voting system awarded points based on the ranking of players in each journalist's list, with the player accumulating the highest total points being crowned the Ballon d'Or winner. This points-based system added a layer of transparency and fairness to the selection process, making the award even more prestigious. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, the award witnessed a captivating duel between two iconic players, Johann Cruyff and Franz Beckenbauer. Their rivalry was not just a battle for individual glory, but also a clash of footballing philosophies and styles. Cruyff, the Dutch maestro, mesmerized the world with his extraordinary dribbling skills, vision, and revolutionary total football philosophy. His ability to read the game and execute his ideas on the pitch made him a true innovator and a joy to watch. Beckenbauer, the German legend nicknamed Der Kaiser, redefined the role of a defender with his elegance, leadership, and tactical genius. His calm demeanor and strategic mind allowed him to control the game from the back, making him a formidable opponent and a natural leader. These two legends dominated the Ballon d'Or, with Cruyff claiming the prestigious award three times and Beckenbauer achieving the feat twice. Their repeated successes underscored their consistent excellence and their ability to perform at the highest level year after year. Their captivating rivalry showcased the pinnacle of European football during that era. It was a time when the sport was evolving rapidly, and these two players were at the forefront of that evolution, pushing the boundaries of what was possible on the football field. Other notable winners during this period included Alfredo Di Stefano, Eusebio, and Kevin Keegan, each of whom brought their unique flair and brilliance to the game further solidifying the Ballon d'Or's status as the ultimate individual accolade in European football. These players, with their exceptional talents and contributions, helped to elevate the award's prestige and cement its place as the highest honor a footballer could achieve in Europe. As football became increasingly globalized in the late 20th century, the sport began to transcend borders and cultures, uniting fans and players from all corners of the world. 
This globalization brought about significant changes in how the sport was perceived and celebrated. One of the most notable changes was the expansion of the Ballon d'Or's scope to reflect the sport's evolving landscape. The prestigious award, which had long been a symbol of individual excellence in football, needed to adapt to the new, more inclusive era. In 1995, a pivotal change was implemented, opening the award to all players irrespective of their nationality, as long as they played for a European club. This decision was a significant step towards recognizing the diverse talent that was emerging from different parts of the world. This groundbreaking decision paved the way for a new generation of global superstars to compete for the coveted trophy. It was a move that acknowledged the growing influence of non-European players in the sport and their contributions to the beautiful game. The first beneficiary of this historic change was George Weah, the Liberian striker who captivated the world with his electrifying pace, power, and clinical finishing. Weah's journey from the streets of Monrovia to the grand stages of European football was nothing short of inspirational. Weah's triumph in 1995 marked a watershed moment, signifying the Ballon d'Or's transition into a truly global award. His victory was not just a personal achievement, but a symbol of hope and possibility for aspiring footballers from underrepresented regions. The globalization of the Ballon d'Or continued into the 21st century, reaching a significant milestone in 2007. This period saw the award further aligning itself with the global nature of the sport, embracing the diversity and talent that football had to offer. In a move that further aligned the award with the global nature of the sport, it was expanded to include all professional footballers worldwide, regardless of their nationality or the club they represented. This decision was a testament to the universal appeal of football and its ability to bring people together. This momentous decision ushered in an era where the best players from every corner of the globe could compete for the most prestigious individual honor in football. It was a recognition of the fact that talent knows no boundaries and that excellence can emerge from any part of the world. The first winner of the truly global Ballon d'Or was Kaka, the Brazilian attacking midfielder renowned for his elegance, vision, and mesmerizing dribbling skills. Kaka's victory was a celebration of the global nature of football and a reminder of the sport's ability to inspire and unite people from diverse backgrounds. As the Ballon d'Or continues to evolve, it remains a symbol of football excellence, celebrating the achievements of players who have left an indelible mark on the sport. The award's journey from a European-centric honor to a truly global accolade reflects the ever-changing dynamics of football and its power to transcend borders. Looking ahead, the future of the Ballon d'Or promises to be even more exciting, with young talents from around the world aspiring to etch their names in the annals of football history. The award will continue to inspire generations of players to strive for greatness and to dream big, knowing that their efforts can be recognized on the global stage. The Ballon d'Or's rich history is filled with iconic moments and memorable celebrations, each one a testament to the enduring appeal of football and the extraordinary talent of its players. As we celebrate the past and look forward to the future, the Ballon d'Or remains a beacon of excellence in the world of football. The Ballon d'Or's illustrious history is adorned with a constellation of footballing legends whose extraordinary talent and achievements have earned them a place in the pantheon of the sport's greats. This prestigious award, established in 1956 by France Football, has become the ultimate recognition of individual excellence in the world of football. Over the decades, it has celebrated the brilliance of players who have not only showcased their skills on the pitch, but have also left an indelible mark on the sport's history. Johan Cruyff, the Dutch maestro, epitomized the concept of total football. His innovative approach to the game, characterized by fluid movement and positional interchange, revolutionized football tactics and inspired countless players and coaches. Cruyff's vision and creativity on the field were unparalleled, making him a true pioneer of the modern game. His three Ballon d'Or awards in 1971, 1973, and 1974 cemented his legacy as one of the most influential figures in football history. These accolades were a testament to his exceptional talent and his ability to consistently perform at the highest level, leading his teams to numerous victories 
and setting new standards for excellence in the sport. Franz Beckenbauer, the German legend, revolutionized the role of a defender with his elegance and tactical genius, earning him two Ballon d'Or trophies in 1972 and 1976. Known as Der Kaiser, Beckenbauer's ability to read the game and his composure under pressure set him apart from his peers. His contributions to both club and country were instrumental in their successes, and his legacy continues to influence defenders to this day. Michel Platini, the French midfield maestro, claimed the Ballon d'Or for three consecutive years in 1983, 1984, and 1985, with his exceptional passing range, vision, and goal-scoring prowess. Platini's ability to control the tempo of the game and his knack for scoring crucial goals made him a standout performer. His leadership on the field and his technical brilliance were key factors in his repeated success at the Ballon d'Or. Marco van Basten, the Dutch striker, combined technical brilliance with clinical finishing, earning him three Ballon d'Or awards in 1988, 1989, and 1992. Van Basten's elegance and precision in front of goal made him one of the most feared strikers of his generation. His ability to score from almost any position and his remarkable consistency were hallmarks of his illustrious career. Ronaldo Nazario, the Brazilian phenomenon, mesmerized the world with his electrifying pace, skill, and clinical finishing, claiming the Ballon d'Or twice in 1997 and 2002. Ronaldo's explosive style of play and his ability to single-handedly change the course of a match made him a global icon. Despite facing numerous injuries throughout his career, his resilience and determination to return to the top were truly inspirational. These legends, along with countless others who have graced the Ballon d'Or podium, have not only etched their names into football history, but have also inspired generations of aspiring footballers worldwide. Their stories of triumph, perseverance, and dedication serve as a source of motivation for young players dreaming of reaching the pinnacle of the sport. The Ballon d'Or is more than just an award. It is a symbol of the relentless pursuit of greatness. Their achievements serve as a testament to the enduring allure and significance of the Ballon d'Or, recognizing and celebrating the pinnacle of individual brilliance in the beautiful game. As we look back on the rich history of this prestigious award, we are reminded of the incredible talent and passion that have shaped football into the beloved sport it is today. The Ballon d'Or continues to honor those who have reached the zenith of their careers, leaving an everlasting legacy for future generations to admire and aspire to.